The resurgence of interest in traveling by dog team and the history of the practice is an important Inuit tradition, and the race brings that back into modern times. While here, we joined up with members of the Nunavik Arctic Survival Training Center for a trip out on the land and frozen sea. We'll spend some time saltwater ice fishing for northern cod on Hudson Bay, and some of the team will dive under the six foot thick sea ice to collect some of their favorite marine delicacies, Atlantic mussels and sea urchins. We'll travel by a combination of snowmobile and dog team to take in the sights of the snow-covered, treeless tundra. We'll visit historic spots along the way and at the end of the day, we'll build igloos and camp overnight for the quintessential Inuit winter experience. One of the things that is so cool about the people living up here is that it was only a little more than 50 years ago that they started settling in villages. Up until about 1960, most Inuit families still lived a nomadic hunting and gathering lifestyle. In the winter, they lived in igloos and in the summer in caribou skin tents. In the winter, they traveled by sleds and dog teams, and in the summer, they walked or traveled by kayak. It's remarkable that the Inuit have not only survived, but thrived in what at first glance appears to be a hostile, lifeless land. Today, Nunavik's Inuit are adapting to many aspects of the Western culture, at the same time as they are trying to hang on to their own 